pull that guy um, off the job and only have him come back when we need to um, a couple times a week, maybe even once a week. So we're real close to that, really, because there's only the things that are currently being done, we don't have to actually be there with this. <laughs> Street project, the last of the restoration, which involved the, the pavement, uh, that was completed uh, end of March. Uh, final documents were approved by the, the board as well, or will be approved by the board next month. So that will close that project as well. Keep in mind, uh, one of the agreements on that, some of those uh, streets were just uh, put on the base coat. The surface was not done because Mark worked out a deal. We're going, he wants to read part of his resurfacing because we took out, instead of just patching the street, we went ahead and moved the crown, paid the entire street that he's going to put the surface on with his resurfacing project this spring. So, so, so I ask you why it wasn't the road paved all the way up. With that, the other thing I have for you, if there's any questions on status before. How many easements do we still have outstanding? One and two. Three, I think. I will, will we stand with those? Kind of have an update on that. Um, after the proposals were sent out, Tim gave them, I believe, 10 or 12 days to get back with them. Tim emailed me, I believe, last week that there was two we didn't hear back from was the Rick White and the John Schomber. I went out and talked to, to uh, Mr. Schomber, and he said there was no problem whatsoever. It really didn't. He didn't see where he was supposed to get back with. I guess he didn't read it real close. But that's a go. Once we get the drawings from H&TV, we can get them over to Andy and have the legal descriptions written that long. So we're down to one, two. Uh, I believe there's two that were actually going to, I think I told Tim the last time that I, when I emailed him back, I told him he would, I'd rather him take the reins on the Rick White property and the Shiver property is the two that I believe Tim is going to go on with. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're promising or going to be problems? Or? I had a verbal from Mr. White. Um, I actually called him up, uh, had written down everything that we had talked about, and that was everything that he, his wishes were was in that proposal. But for some reason, he's the one that, one of the two that didn't send back and say yes, everything was good. We've drawn it up based on that, so we'll be able to give him a set of drawings and he can get some more like that. Maybe that would help the situation or something. So Terry's basically. My emails were with Tim, which I'm sure Tim was um, yeah. sharing them with Terry. some of those things after you do a lot of work, you know, into, you do some work kind of, well, it'd be nice to get this fixed too while we're here type of thing. Um, so these are things we added. Yeah. Added, but I mean, we... The goal was originally was to do as minimal as we possibly can to maximize treatment plant capacity at that site. So it wasn't necessarily to, I mean, there's a lot of things that, you know, still probably can be done depending on how long you're going to keep that treatment plant in operation? You know, when it originally was designed, the idea was that the growth was coming at a much more rapid pace than it probably is going to. Uh, the idea was that let's get that plant so we can run five to seven years, and then we'll be replacing that in the future. So that 
that's some of the reasons. And then once you know we got farther extraction and realize that that five to seven may stretch to ten to fifteen. Then there's a few things on here that we we added in here to kind of make it a little nicer. And, and, and like I said, we're well within the range of contingency that we had uh, initially budgeted. Air questions for Darren? If it's released, the only thing I do need, I need a motion to approve that change. Uh, yeah. So we I'll second it. Motion been made, second the real call vote. Frank? Yes. Tony? Yes. John? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Robin? Yes. <coughs> I have, you know, I think Rick's probably addressed it with you in the past recently. We have a well there, existing well there at the water plant. And because, well, described as the form casing, we can't get the water out of the maximum that we would like to. We're very limited how much water we can get out of the well. And Rick and I have discussed this, and there probably needs to be another well drilled right near that existing well. But it, it is a good well. We don't want to give it up. And that's something needs to be looked into. And there are different prices for drilling a well. And Rick, you want to address that? I will actually have my well guy. <clears throat> we went out and looked at a couple different areas for possibly putting wells in. Um, the work that we had done on number four, if you remember a year or so ago, that they started out with an eight inch casing for whatever reason. They went down around 64 foot, dropped it down to a six inch casing. So the water's there, but we can't get a big enough pump down in it to actually pull it. Right now we have a pump in there. We're getting about 140, 150 gallons a minute out of it with hardly no water loss, um, table dropping at all. Um, <clears throat> Barry seems to think we can get 250, possibly 300 gallons a minute out of it. Um, contacted IDM because the first thing you have to do is have an on-site survey. So I took IDM back to well number four and said, this is what we're looking at doing. This is what we're looking at drilling. And uh, I've got the approval from the state to go ahead. Um, Barry did give me a quote. We talked about it today. Um, it's, it's, it's enough that I felt that it should have been on the agenda. In fact, he gave me a quote for two industrial 12-inch wells. Um, and I believe it was ninety-four, ninety-six thousand dollars for the two industrial wells. That's the wells. Um, where that well number four is, my guys, I'd have my guys actually tied in to the uh, line coming into the plant, which is you know fifteen point feet one big bit. So that's where we're at. I will have them figures for you in, in next months and uh, packing. Now, does he know how deep he'll have to go with that brick? Um, yeah, he's not. As it is right now, that well's a little over 92, 94 foot. I can't remember the exact figures. Um, he said with, you know, being a rock well, that we can go 250 foot, but you're kind of defeating the purpose because that well's not going to produce any more. You will have more, you know, sitting in that casing, but that, that rock well's not going to produce so much water. He suggested anywhere from 120 to 130 foot deep to replace that well. And that's what he's based his price on. Yes. This is the working plant? Yes. It's the one back in the, the field. Are there that many companies out there that have the capabilities of drilling a 12 inch? That's a pretty good size well. I can't answer that. I, I don't know that if the local contractors or the local well drillers can drill something that's